Well, I am uh, Suleiman Chari, uh, in Senegal, we call Chen Suleiman, founder of uh, SGIF, which is Senegal International Federation, and we cover three continents right now. We registered with the government in way back in 1963, and one of the earliest Malay Silat organization. The origin came from uh, one word, survival. During that time, the population were by the riverside or the edge of the jungle. So the common enemy of the uh, settlements were based on wildlife, which is uh, wild animals, and it was used for a, uh, to protect the uh, community. Sila is branched into three different disciplines. It started with combative, which is for law enforcement, an enforcement unit, and military. It's meant for battles. But at the same time, our culture, uh, our folklore, they do Sila in the expressive form, which is theater. So in theater, in movies, or in any kind of show, that's the expressive part of Silat. And then today, uh, we have evolved into the sports art. Because in the old days, there was no sports Silat. It is a very modern thing. And that is based on points. You know, a strike with the hand, uh, certain points, strike with the leg at certain point, take down is, uh, different points, and then uh, locks are different points. In general, Silat is a uh, martial arts. The person is the weapon. Anything else is just an extended weapon. All the weapons that we have in Silat is based on uh, empty hand because you are the weapon and empty hand goes into strikes and, and locks. It's called a joint manipulation. That's what Silat is. And then all the rest is based on short range, mid range and long range weapons. And what we have here is based on short and mid range. The long range are the spears. They go seven and a half feet, 10 feet, and then you have a chain that goes longer than this, sometimes up to three meters. There's a wide range of weapons, you know, because it is based on the lifestyle of the person using the weapon. A weapon to a fisherman may be a fishnet. A weapon to a paddy field farmer could be a sickle. A blacksmith is a hammer. So these are all tools that become weapons when the need arises. My grandmaster, which is Dato Mio Raman, uh, gave me a letter, an authority, to cover the American continent. Sligayong uh, or Takwa Gayong Academy, which was established in the uh, United States, was for us to cater to the uh, children that has been uh, identified as being useless, you know, because uh, failing in school and uh, with a lot of social problems. So what we do is we stimulate their mind, we stimulate their spirit, and we stimulate the body through different exercises and regimentation of exercises uh, from academics to religious studies, uh, philosophy and also Sinigayong, uh, which involves also archery and uh, marksmanship. So archery and marksmanship uh, will provide a child to focus on the academics and uh, we had pretty good results. It's just a matter of giving them uh, confidence in what they're able to do and uh, a, new, a new lifestyle that they're uh, not familiar with, but uh, something that is cool, uh, something that they like. You know, uh, children need to burn a lot of energy, so Sila provides that aspect and they need to uh, understand who they are and the spiritual aspect. So these programs will uh, give them a guidance to show them and to find the niche in every single one of them. So we can, you can be anybody and Sila will provide uh, at the end of the future. <laughs>